Hello everyone, I'm Kroms and welcome to a new Let's Play series. We're gonna have a first look at a new game called Farthest Frontier. It's developed and published by Crate Entertainment and the game is now in early access. You'll find a link to the game on Steam Workshop in the description below. If you google the game, you will find people saying that it's sort of banished with battle features. If you read the developer's description of the game, it says Protect and guide your people as you forge a town from untamed wilderness at the edge of the known world. Harvest raw materials, hunt fish and farm to survive. Produce crafted items to trade, consume, equip and fight with as you battle for your survival against the elements and outside threats. Alright, I'm really excited for this game. I've also got some comments from you guys saying like, hey dude, you gotta... You gotta try that for this frontier, it looks awesome. And I've tried it out, I've tried it out for a couple of hours, two or three hours, and it looks freaking awesome. So I will stop babbling and we will just jump into a new game. It's easy, medium and hard, we're just gonna go medium, and we need to come up with a name. Now actually, I saw a really good movie yesterday. So let's take that name. LV426. You have to Google and then we know what movie it is. We could go with Random Terrain, but since this is the first time we play, we, we kind of want it a little, little bit easier. So I will choose Lowland Lakes. That means we will have water or lakes or both, and it will be a little bit easier to, to start since this is the first first time we try it. So let's just jump in and uh, see what happens. Life can be harsh everywhere, but in the old world there was no hope of it ever improving. When our crops failed, the ruling class would still collect the same share, leaving our children to starve. And if we had any coin to our name, the taxman would appear, demanding it for the crown. The nobles hid behind the safety of their walls and did nothing when raiders pillaged the outskirts of the city. And so, some of us decided that it was time to leave, that we'd rather take our chances in the wilderness, seeking the promise of a new land, than starve to death in our homeland. The journey wasn't easy. We lost many along the way. But this wild, unsettled land offers us the hope of a new start as the masters of our own destiny. We finished scouting the surrounding area. Survey the land your villagers have explored and chose a promising site to construct your town center. It's important to choose a location that's near the resources you'll need to build a successful settlement. Things like clay, iron ore and potential food sources. Oh yes. So here is our map and I see three small lakes and there is show of fish in them already so this is a really good spot let's have a quick look around here so is it okay we have the edge of the map here eventually we will be able to access the whole map but when we place this there will be a like a fog kind of thing uh, around this we will just see a little bit all right i see some evil things here see so wolf den we don't want to stay close to that, I think, because we can't really defend us in the early game. So what do we... Okay, we have a larger lake or maybe, I don't know, the ocean or something. We have a small lake here. I kind of like this. Let's hit the F button and we can see 
the fertility. And I'm, I'm looking quickly at this. So fertility is where you plant your crops. And we will have plenty of farms so we can grow crops. And it looks like this could be a pretty good place to do that. We can have our town center here. We have houses down here. We have an industrial area, maybe up here, or maybe even over here. We have fish here. We can also fish in the ocean. Yeah, I kind of like this. Let's, uh, let's, yeah, I don't know in which direction. We have a clay pit there that we want to use. We can also see overlay some other important stuff. Let's check this one. It's desirability. We haven't built anything yet, so it's nothing there. We have the eye. This is water, and this is pretty important as well. But the bluer it is, the more water, and we have plenty of water here. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with settling here. The question is, where do we want it? So, I think maybe up here. And um, boom, yep, that's it. Can't turn back now. So here we are. We have 12 villagers. We have zero houses. The only good thing is that we have no infections or no one is sick. They're not happy because they have no place to live. We have food for nine months. We can see that this is the early spring and we can see it's summer, it's autumn and then it's winter. And over here we can see our storage of logs, firewood, planks, stone, clay, bricks and money or gold. So first we need to build our town center and we also need resources for that. They will cut down a few resources to be able to build this. We can also help them with that by selecting, we can see, we want to harvest everything here. Bushes, berries, stones and trees. And we, we need quite a lot further on. We can see, especially stone is really good that we need to build. So I can, let's do that as well. We will definitely need more as we go along. And we can see, yeah, they were still cutting down uh, things before they can start building the town center. While we wait, we can see what we can build. We can't build not, uh, well, we can build a few things before this town center is built, but let's have a quick look. We can't build anything of this. We have a graveyard and we have a market. We will build that fairly soon. We have houses. They're still unlocked or still locked. We have a stockyard, we have a storehouse, and we have a root cellar that we need. Root cellar is really good to place fish and meat. Um, as we can see, it's partially underground structure used to store food at a reliable temperature, reducing the rate of spoilage. Because we can see here in the food section, the orange there, months of food lost to spoilage. So now during the winter, I think it's quite easy to keep it, to keep the good longer. But during the summer when it's warm, it will be spoiled quickly. So we can smoke it or we can, well, we can do both actually. Smoke it and store it in the root cellar. And that will prevent most of it from go bad. We can start with food production. And we can also start by building a well. So let's, let's place it. We can see it's kind of blue here. And I think... If it's above 50, it's a really good well. And look at this, we actually have 70 here. Yeah, I, I, I think there is nothing to discuss. Boom, let's build that. So when they have water, they're happy, our villagers. So LV426 town center is built. Finally, let's start building. So we need food. That is very important. We also need firewood, but we will wait with that. So food production. We can start with the fishing shack since we have it down here. Yeah, we, we, we don't need to uh, 
take care of anything like we're building in something that we don't want it. So I think I'll place it, place it down here. You saw that the ring here, the area, is not covering the fish, but don't worry, we can move that area over the fish. So that's a really good thing. You can place like everything around here and then you can send people out to hunt over here if we're talking about hunters. We also have a small storage right now. It's a storage, storage cart and we can actually move that one if we don't want it there. So you just click and move it and it will move. Let's first, let's build a couple of roads around here. Uh, let's go there and go here. And I don't really see, is it? Ah, oh, come on, turn there and there. Let's, let's just draw a road, okay? We can't do, it's a little tricky to see all the trees. So let's build it down there and then we can actually, we will build a road down here later on I just want some structure here and if we look here I think it's a pretty good place to do it like here you can, you can see the road kind of bends sometimes if you hold shift it will just straighten up and go straight so let's build a road down here for now and then we definitely need more things we will need a forager shack a place for foragers to store food items collected from the environment around the village foragers can provide essential resources like fruits to avoid scurvy and herbs used in medicine so this one has no negativity because uh, people there are some buildings that is kind of industrial buildings they may be dirty or noisy and people don't like living close to them but this building is not, is not one of those. So that is one of the reasons we really need to think a little bit where we place our, our buildings. So, yeah, I won't get rid of those trees, but let's, let's pop that one there. We will wait with the crop field a little bit. We need a smokehouse eventually, and we also need a hunter cabin, but we need storage. So let's pop a stockyard so we have something else before this storage cart and can we put no it's quite large let's um let's have it here boom we can actually move you a little bit more i don't really know where to place you now we want you close um but so we don't want to <laughs> drive you away we also have resources. So this is the firewood splitter. It's quite important so we don't freeze to death in the winter. This is a little noisy. You can see it, it turns a little bit red there. So let's try and keep it away from that. Let's add a road here. Let's see where you are. Over there. Boom. Now we actually have a, a saw pit as well. Uh, we pop it on this side. We will build the saw pit a little bit later. Now we definitely need houses. So we, we have the well here. And I don't think we want it exactly next to this. We have building there. So let's build it a little bit further down. We can it. And we can see desirability is 10. The closer to town center we come, it's better. We can also build a market later and that will help with that. But I think 10 is okay for now. So we'll build two there, flip it, we'll leave a gap and we'll build another two. So the four houses, they store four people each. So we have room for 16 people here if I remember correctly. We can also speed up if we want to. We have times three, and then we can actually go down to half speed. Let's go two. And then our fish is uh, fishing shack is built. 
but you can see it's outside let's move it a little bit and you can see in the box below the lake there fishing resources fishing area 25 plus 170 percent fishing productivity 370 percent if you just try and like place it here around this you can see fishing productivity is 140 it's okay fishing area 12 plus 40 now this is much much better so let's go here you will do a lot of fishing looks like there the entrance is there let's give him a road to move at and i will actually build a straight road here can we hook this up yes so to take care of the food we also need um the root cellar you can see we need well we need a lot of stuff to because we're building everywhere so i think we just just wait a little bit we need the firewood and wood here so we can build the houses we have a couple of houses built already we need another four so we can click on one house you can see that there's four people living here and they have brought firewood and all of that So we need to build a lot, but we also need to uh, to be careful so we don't build too much. All right, so the forager shack, we can use this and, re and change where we want to place. And you can see at the box down here that we could, we could get plenty of stuff, but we know that over here is a wolf stem. So we need to be a little bit careful. I'm, I'm kind of satisfied here it's not too far away from where we live we could actually just move it a little bit north to get those nuts but no then we miss a few other things uh, more people wait where to join your settlement so in four months uh, we will need four months supply of food and six houses in total to get them all right let's try this again Yeah, no, I, I, I think we're good with this. Boom. Collect food. We now have plenty of food. So let's try and take care of this so we don't spoil it. So root cellar, I'm not really sure if we need it here or close to this or maybe both. I will, I will pop one here. People are living nearby. And now we have our little well here. So people will live or want to live close by. I'm, I'm thinking of building a, a market down here. So let's add two more houses and I'm going to go with popping them. Yeah, let's do that. A little gap in between. Firewood is low, but we are cutting, or this guy is cutting. Uh, a graveyard, we need to build that, but we don't need to build it until we have a death. Hopefully that will take a while, if I don't jinx it. So we have the stockyard. We also need a storehouse. So yeah, the storehouse is a larger one of these. So let's pop it maybe next to the well, if we can fit it. Now I, I think I think I pop it above here. Boom. So above the well, a road is there. Everyone can access it easy. If we hit the F button, we now we definitely want some sort of crop field here. And it takes forever to do this, so we will start this year and we might have it ready for next so let's see the, the, the smallest one we can have is five times five so i'm thinking let's go i don't know seven by five and one thing that well we have these hot on well it is what it is we need to protect this as well so if we build a fenced gate here so our people can access it is it 
but uh, I'm not sure which way it is. But it is here. Let's let's build it here. And then we can build a fence around it. And we start with this small one. So I'm not going to build the whole fence now. I'm just mark it so I don't forget it later. And go over. Is it? It's there. okay. We can actually go around. Let's do that. That's a good start. One other trick that I learned is that somewhere around here, there is blueberry bushes. And you can actually move them. Maybe you can move a lot of stuff. No, you can't move those. Mushroom cluster, you can't move those either. But you can actually move this and place it on fertile land. And you can have better access to it. So... A good thing would be to place the inside here, but we won't do that. We will we will have them we will place hopefully we can find four. So blueberry bush. Let's move it here. Boom. And there is at least one more. And then it will be much easier to harvest those because they don't need to run around. Let's see if we can find any more. Hawthorn. That's a clay deposit. Greens. We have a deer. A lot of deer. And more deer. Alright, we would definitely need to build uh, a hunter. Ah, uh, blueberry bush. Let's move that as well. So we have a small cluster of blueberries. And then we need a hunter. So, let's add a road down here. Uh, okay, six people have arrived. We will accept them. Let me turn that off. And I'm thinking the hunter could go here. Food. Hunter cabin. Well, food stocks are low. Well, you are collecting food. Can we... We can probably add more people. Let's see. A bustling market could help generate gold and attract new settlers to our growing town. Markets, stockhouses, and and generate gold based on the number of houses in the work area. So we definitely build a market very soon. We just need to take care of the food production, which is a little low. Firewood is good. I guess we're still having... Yeah, we, we have a lot of stuff to harvest. Let's... Mark some more. And we saw that we have deer up here. <laughs> it even right. All right, so uh, let's add a road for our hunters. I'm not sure if they need it, but let's add a short one here and probably another one here. It might help get them up there a little bit quicker. I can also prioritize this, so focus on that one, build that quickly, since we have deer in sight and we need more food. So we need, we have one cellar, all right, we are actually waiting for stone. So we could actually click on the stone, it's already marked as harvest, but we can also prioritize. Grab the 18 of stone so we can finish the root cellar. Now it's cold, so it's... We, I don't think we need it as much as we need it in the summer. But we also want a smokehouse. And we have tannery. We have, yeah, saw pit is something we need as well. Um, so it's this smokehouse. And you can see it's very, very red. But we don't have any houses nearby. Yeah, you can see the houses gets like minus desirability if we place it there. So... It's a small, tiny one. Let's pop it next here. It's close to everything. So hopefully that will be up and running soon. And then we will also build the saw pit. Because we need that for uh, to be able to build the markets. As we can see. Um... Yeah, saw pit and storehouse. 
and we are building both here, right? So pit, smokehouse. We have the storehouse, yeah. We just need a few more things. So they pause this due to winter, and we will continue in the spring. And that will probably take a couple of months, maybe to half the summer. If we're lucky, we can start prepping the crop fields before next winter. This looks like it's quite far away. I kind of like the roads here, so let's build one there so they can speed up. And now we can actually see that months of food lost to spoilage. So lost two. So let's prioritize that one as well. And since this is prioritized, hopefully they will grab it. Very soon, because we need that yeah, we can actually prioritize more stone here. I hear wolves. Yeah, we know there is a wolf's den over here. One other thing we need to build as well. It's. Uh, yeah, where is that? Is it storage? No, it's not. It's probably resources. Yeah, it's the compost yard. And this is one evil, <laughs> evil thing. It's, it costs money to run, and it's people, it, the desirability, you can see, it's very low. One thing is that it produces fertilizer, and fertilizer is good for your crops. So, in, in the best of worlds, we probably have it pretty close. Or maybe we can fit it. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe we can fit it down here. I don't think we will have houses in this area. We will we will soon decide what to do. All right. Is the no smokehouse is not built? But let's see. We did build the hunter, right? So let's move and see if we can catch some deer. Uh, did we? Okay, so yeah, deer is marked, and we have we have at least two different. Is the herd? Maybe. So that yeah, we got we killed one. Finally, the root cellar is built in the early spring, and we're just waiting for the smokehouse to be finished, and then hopefully we will have enough food to take care of that so it won't be spoiled. Last season, or storage, I can produce in the last year, 248 fish. So that is definitely working. They are cutting down that. We are producing planks. So I think we, we have most of everything to upgrade very soon. Let's see. Yep, we got it. So let's build a market and you can see this area. If we build inside the desirability of the houses, it, it's really good. So I think we will just build it here or maybe even on this side since we don't gonna have a lot of houses over there. I, I will build it here. Mm, yeah. And since there are probably going to be more houses down here, and I remember that there was a good amount of water down there. I will actually build a second one, because we can see we have 80, 81. Let's see what we have. 75. Yeah, if we go... Yeah, we can actually... Let's let's pop it here. It's, it's over seventy is is really good. Boom! You will have another one there. Let's continue with our fence. Okay, now we can build a Fletcher building. We can build a basket shop, and we can build a compost yard. Compost yard. But we 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 need money first. So we need to build. This need to be the market needs to be done. Let's go for 
this and we will do that. We have an entrance to the field and that will hopefully be done in a while. So these, all right, blueberry bush, they turned, so I guess these can be harvested now. Where is our uh, forest shacker? Is is collecting stuff there. So if I move it here, we'll get the blueberries. Yeah, I think this is pretty freaking good. Yeah, let's go there. We wanna take care of our blueberries. We need more planks. But we have it. We have a lot of firewood. We can probably turn off or pause the woodcutter or firewood splitter if we if we get too much. We can also add another one if we need more. New villager immigrated. New villager is born. We have room for another four. But to we need to get up to thirty to be able to get into tier two. So let's build a couple of more houses. I will leave a gap. Boom. All right, what happened? Building is on fire. And predator is sighting. Holy crap, everything has happened. Oh, this is burning big time. We have water pretty close. And I think we killed the predator. Yeah. And there's a heat wave. What is happening? Everything is happening. <laughs> food stock is low. Yeah, we got some food. And we are in the early summer here. Well, hopefully we'll have enough water. People will go. Yeah, I think they come with water here and try to put out. Okay, it's spread. Yeah, maybe we should. Well, we, we let them finish. Then we need to build some more roads there to speed it up. Okay. There is water and it looks like we be a, we managed to save those. All right, that turned out pretty good. Let's just make sure we have, can we build a road here? No. I'll just build a small tiny road out here. Okay, let's prioritize this. Speed things up. We're also building this. Yeah, do we want you here? I'm not really sure where to place you. Let's send you down here. You can probably hide down here. I'm kind of thinking that you are fishing a lot. I will give you a root cellar. Uh, it's under storage, right? That got to help to save some. I'm, I'm not sure if they, they go and place it here right away and then it get moved to the smoking house. I um. I don't know, I've got to learn how that works. And we can build a road all the way down to the crop field there. And we can also add a road so they can reach the well if needed. Yeah, why don't you hang by the well and guard it? All right, we have two fish now. That means that, no, it's still three, 370%. Food is good, there's some spoilage. Villagers are born, our houses are built. Yeah, it looks like they're working. I 
we definitely need more houses, so I will add another two. Is it? Okay, they don't produce anything at the at mid only during the summer. Yeah, you can see that this takes forever. I haven't prioritized that, but it will it will take forever before this is ready to be used. But we'll build a fence around it to protect it from I think a deer that come and eat. Well probably other animals as well. We have gold, which means we can probably build the compost yard so as you can see it's it's quite far area so they don't want to be living close to that but i don't want to be too far away from the farms either I, I think i will build it here it should you could build it here no let, let's pop it here it's away from most of that anyway Crops ready for assignments. All right, so this is a trick one. We, it's already too late, so we can't assign anything that will start this year. So we will start in the early next year, and we will need to produce, well, to, to fix it. Because we want as much fertility as possible, and as low level of weed and rockiness as possible. So if we let him work here, it will go down. All right, auto save. So I will, we, we won't be able to harvest or, or produce any food uh, next year. So I will actually add two of these. And here is a crop, it's a clover. You can't eat it, but if you look at the bottom there, it says impacts fertility. So that will make the soil more fertile. So I will add that. And when we go into the third year, we can finally start growing stuff, hopefully. <laughs> so we have beans and peas, and I think we will just go with that. I don't know, we will do that and that, but they don't, are not that frost tolerant. Well, this is actually. Uh, so we can have that late in case of frost, but we will move this further down the summer When it's warmer and hopefully don't get destroyed by crops and then after that we start all over and I think we, we could probably add another one of these guys and Let's see what else. This is also frost tolerant. We need something in the middle that could be Heat tolerance, that could be good. Let's pop that one there, and then, I'm not sure if we can fit anything after that, no. Um, I just click here and see if, I don't think anything else will fit. So I guess we just, we move it back a little bit. You will work that and hopefully get better, and then we can, we probably remove these. When we come back and then we will have some rotation. We'll, we'll see <laughs> if we survive that long. Can we, uh, let's see, we have the hunters here. Can we see what they have produced? 250 meat, 5 pelts and 10 tallow. So we can click here and see that there is 4 deer, uh, four deer in this group. And there is five in these. So I don't think we, if we hunt them down to like one, they can't reproduce. So we will leave it on here for a little more while. And if the, it's going down to like two or three, we can remove it and then let them breed a little bit. So they, uh, so we don't make them extinct because they're giving us a lot of stuff. Market is up and running and uh, everyone is happy we have a steady income 
Let's see, is this is not built yet. I, I think we can actually pause the firewood. We need the wood to something else. So let's disable that one. Now we just need six more people to uh, be able to upgrade the town center. So we need 30 people. We have eight houses. We have a market. We need 40 wood. Okay, it's another 16 and more stone. Let's see if we can find stone to harvest. Yeah, we have here. So we just mark it. Boom. Collect. I know for sure that we have a lot of stone up here. Well, there got to be some stone close, right? Let's let's see. Can we? We definitely want that. Let's grab these. Yeah, we have a stone. Go. I'll just harvest these and not prioritize and we see. Now we will have something to do. We have firewood during the winter and uh, we also have food for six months and it's, it's not spoiled. So I guess this is working. Can we see storage? No, it's not being used at all. <laughs> is everything being brought to the smoker? Item produced last year, 300 smoked meat and 200 fish. Do we have anything in here? Yes, we do. We have smoked meat and fish. So it looks like they are carrying... Wait, what's this? Is it fish lying on the ground? A gathered supply of fish. I don't know how it, how it happened there. Did they uh, get cold and stopped working, maybe? Yeah, we'll see. We're not starving and we're not freezing. We just need them to produce some more babies. Maybe this wasn't the best place to put these blueberry bushes. Maybe we should move it, I don't know. No, let, let's leave them there for now. We, we don't need to build more houses for a while. Let's quickly, yeah, okay, now they collect the fish. How is our storehouse? We have gold ingots stored. For shaker, uh, I'm looking for a socket. No, yeah, it's this one and uh, this one, of course. Yeah, we have a lot of materials. We have stone. We need more planks, though. But I, I keep building stuff, so that's why the planks disappears. Let's have a quick look and see if there is something else we can build. A Fletcher building. Use log to craft bows and arrows for using hunting. Yes, that is definitely something. And you can see it doesn't do any negative impact on that. So I will build it down here next to where people live. Maybe they like to have a short way to work. A basket shop, it requires, uh, yeah, it's these guys. They're called Willowbush. And um, are they collected? Mm, no, not there. They're not stored here either, right? Raw material herbs. Yeah, I don't like the wolves. So, maybe it's time to build a graveyard. We probably have someone who died. Hey, we got it. We survived another year. So, a nice graveyard close to where people live. Let's, uh, let's build a small one here. I think that's enough. 
you can see he has start working here. And you can see, yeah, the weed level is, it's horrible. So then we clear that out. Hopefully it will be much better next year. We've actually reached 30 people. Let's see if we have everything we need. No, we need 40 planks. So we have 17. Let's see, saw pit, we have two. Let's add two more to speed up the production of that. Yearly taxes collected, we have 48 gold. We are rich. Can we see how, yeah, they're working. Is it sparking? <laughs> no, it's probably so sawdust. Looks like, looks like metal. Don't cut the nails. Yeah, this would go pretty quickly. We're up to 23. And I'm actually thinking that this is a pretty good place to uh, to end this first episode. Uh, if you, if you like it, please give it a like and maybe even a subscription so you won't miss upcoming updates. If you think I'm doing anything wrong, which I probably is, please leave a comment, tell me how stupid I am, and please help me out to, uh, to make better decisions because I'm learning here. I, I don't know this game. It's, it's very new for me. So uh, some of you who are watching have probably played, played it more than me. So I'm learning as we go along. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please come back for the next one. Bye-bye.